Hey guys, Crystal here from Ultimate Weight Loss. I know it's been quite some time, but I'm going to get straight into this video. First things first, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so by clicking the link down below and also give me a thumbs up at the end of this video if it was of any substance to you. So today's video is going to be all about fat burning and we are going to learn how to do or how to create a lemon mint, I said lemon, but it's not lemon, lime mint detox drink. This detox drink is great for fat burning, it's great for speeding up the metabolism, and it has a bunch of different health benefits, which I'll talk more about in just a second. So we're going to get straight into it, but before I go, I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so you guys will be able to see all of the goosey details on how to make this fat burning drink. So hold on. Okay, so as you guys see here, I have a cutting board. I don't know what to call this thing, a masher. Um, I've had it quite a long time, but I don't know what it's called, but it's a masher. You can choose to use this if you want, but it's not necessarily required, but I like to use it. Also, I have some green tea bags. Um, you can choose whatever company you like. It's your company um, of choice. I went to my local grocery store and just got the one that I really liked. Um, it doesn't really matter, but it does need to be a caffeinated green tea. If you're a decaf person, that's cool, but you're not going to get all of the benefits that you would if it was um, caffeinated because you really do need to make sure that you have the caffeine. That's vital in this particular detox drink. You also need some lime. You'll need one lime and then you'll need um, a fourth of a cup of mint. As you guys can see, I got this in my local grocery store. If you have mint grown in your yard, great. If not, you can also get it from your local grocery store and do what you have to do from there. And then, of course, you're going to need a knife and we're going to just get straight into it. So you're also going to need, um, I use a mason jar because the mason jar already has the um, levels or the amount of fluid that's in the jar on the side so it makes it easier. This recipe is going to make three cups of the detox drink. Um, you can make more by of course quantifying the ingredients, but for me I'm only gonna make three cups, which is about 25 ounces of this drink. So first things first, you are going to actually, let me take this out since I've already started. So you're going to need three cups of water and you'll put it in your jar and then you'll drop your green tea bag in the jar. So if you guys see here, I've already dropped my green tea bag in the jar. Okay. And it steeps in the jar. This is cold water. It steeps for 25 minutes. So that's what I did. I put it in the refrigerator for 25 minutes. That's why the water is this color. So it's been in the refrigerator for about 25 minutes. Okay. Um, so you're going to put that to the side. And in the meantime, we're going to slice this entire lemon. So you want to make sure that your lemon has been washed and is clean. And be careful when you're cutting your lemon. If you want to use a slicer, you can. Not a big deal. Um, I'm just going to just roughly slice mine. The size of the slices don't really matter. You really want to just make sure that you slice the whole lemon. And you can do it that way. Okay. So we're going to leave the skin on and slice our lemons. And then we're going to go ahead and put these to the side because our green tea bag is already in there. You only need one tea bag, just one, per 25 ounces or three cups of water. This is why I'm using the mason jar. So I only have one tea bag in there. So you only need one. Okay. So we'll put those away. And then you'll need about a fourth of a cup of mint. Now, I'm sure everyone is like, okay, I keep seeing these detox drinks. What benefit do they have? How do they help me? What do they help me with weight loss? So you guys know I have bee pollen weight loss products that I have been um, distributing for over nine and a half to ten and a half years now. Detox drinks are great liquefying ways to help the body rid toxins. It also hints the word detox. Detox is the body and helps to rid the body of fat and carbs. You can do so many different things between detoxing and juicing. 
all while you're already doing your weight loss, um, whether it be B-pollen weight loss, like what I have, or if it's some other weight loss program that you're doing, this is a natural way of detoxing the body to get the body ready for your B-pollen weight loss. So this is the reason why I'm big on detoxing and juicing, and I'm just really getting more and more into it. So the lime, what we're going to do is we're going to take the limes and we are going to drop the limes into our water. Okay, so you're just going to take your sliced limes and just drop them into the water. Now, limes benefit weight loss tremendously, especially in detox. Um, it helps to boost the metabolism. If you're like me, I have hypothyroidism, so I need to boost my metabolism as best I possibly can. It helps you burn calories. It helps aid the body in just a lot of vitamin C and it's just rich in a lot of nutrients. Now, the green tea is another big one. In the meantime of us doing that, let me go ahead and get my mint ready. So I'm going to pull my mint off the... You want to kind of pull it off of these. These are okay to put in your drink, but you don't really want the little twigs. You want to just get the leaves. The benefits are in the leaves. This is not like broccoli where the benefits are actually in the stock. So we're going to get that. And you want to just kind of protect the leaves as best you possibly can. Now with green tea, green tea contains something called flavonoids and also caffeine. This is re the reason why I was saying try to get the caffeinated green tea only because you do want the caffeine because both put together help to elevate the metabolism. It also helps to increase fat oxidation and improves the insulin levels in the body. So that's why you want to kind of make sure that you get a good grade of green tea. You don't get the cheapest one only because you want to make sure that you're getting the full benefits from the green tea. So we're going to put that over there. And then I forgot one sprig here. And we'll put that here. So this is about one fourth a cup of mint. Um, here's what I do. I put it in my hand and I squeeze it. Just squeeze it because you want to really activate the richness. You want to get the goodness. And if you look at your fingers, you'll feel the moisture. That's when you start smelling the mint. You can also put it in my little grinding machine here and you can grind it just really quickly. It's no different from making a mojito. So same thing. You're just really just opening up the mint and getting it to release all of its properties. Now, mint helps to stimulate the digestive enzymes which in turn, they help to burn fat and turn the fat into energy. So this is another reason why mint is a great, great, great um, leafy vegetable to put into your detox drink. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold my tea bag only because I don't want it to burst in there. And then I'm just going to mix everything around. Now, I'm sure you're like, okay, I'm ready to drink it right now. I just made my detox drink. With any detox drink, you have to infuse everything. But this one is really quick because that's the reason why we sliced our limes and we beat our mint up just a little bit because we want to release those properties fairly quickly. And with that being said, you're going to put this back into your refrigerator for 25 to 30 more minutes. So I'm going to take my jar cap. And this is the reason why I like to use mason jars when I'm making detox drinks because I can individualize them for myself and take them with me on the go. So then you're going to just put your top on there. And then what I like to do is I always take a pen or something and I write the time on the top. In this case, it just kind of etches it out, but you can also use a marker and write your time on the top so you can keep a track of when you made it. And if you want to just give it a quick shake, you can. Now mint has a little bit of sweetness to it. So it's a natural sweetness. It's not going to be like you just poured a whole cup of sweet uh, sugar in there. It's not like that. Nor do I recommend that you add any sweetener to this only because this is a detox and you're trying to rid the body of the impurities and with impurities also comes sugar. So that's why I don't add any sweetener to this. And then we're going to go ahead and put this in our refrigerator for 25 minutes. And once you put it in the refrigerator for the 25 minutes, guess what, guys? You are all done. So then you get to drink it. Yeah, I want you guys to see me. There we go. So then you get to drink your drink. When you drink it, you can strain off the lemon or lime. I love. I always used to get that confused, lemon and lime. You can strain off the lime and the mint, and then you can drink it that way on the go. Um, if you're planning on keeping it in your refrigerator, the longer you keep it, the better. 
Um, it infuses very well. Typically, after about two hours, I stop infusing only because lime skin can become very bitter when you leave it in a drink. So that's why I don't leave it for too long. So can mint. Um, any type of citrus, the rind gets very bitter and then it makes your water bitter. So you don't want it to be too bitter, but you do want to make sure that you're releasing all the properties in it. Um, well, <sighs> I can boost out my voice. <laughs> I hope you guys took this video and got some great benefits from it. I hope this detox slash fat burning recipe really helps you. You can typically drink this on a daily basis. It does not hurt. For me, I usually do it for about five to seven days straight before I start my B-Pollen weight loss regimen, and then I go from there. Um, it's a natural cleanser, so it does not hurt. But of course, if you're one of those and you try this recipe and you like this recipe, please leave a comment down below. Or maybe you're one who makes your own detox recipes or you want me to do a different recipe. Definitely leave it down below. I will definitely try it out. And I love you guys. Thanks so much for your support. Once again, my name is Crystal from Ultimate Weight Loss. My weight loss company details are down below. I'll reach out to me, all that good stuff. If you have questions, whatever the case may be, feel free to reach out. I thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.